everybody! So I'm really quick going to do another first impressions on a mascara. I picked up a new mascara and it is the Maybelline Rocket Mascara. It looks like this. And I believe I didn't get the waterproof version this time, which is awesome. I got 400, which is black is black. And I've been really wanting to try this out because I've heard a lot of people really like it. So I'm curious to know if I like it myself. Um, <clears throat> really quickly just reading about it, it says, Now clump free volume gets explosive. Um, introducing our advanced patented supersonic brush. It's hardcore and evenly spaced soft bristles give eight times the volume even from root to tip. It's rocket time. So that's what the packaging looks like. So it's supposed to give lots of volume without clumping. So kind of similar to the um, CoverGirl clump crusher I'm guessing. That kind of um, idea behind it anyway. So I'm just opening up the packaging here and I'll show you real quick what the brush looks like. Really cool looking brush. I'll wait till it focuses for you. There we go. So it's got little tiny bristles. Um, they are rubber rubber br bristles. I can't talk today. And they're pretty spiky, but they're very short. And then it has a pink wand on the inside. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you guys myself applying it for the first time and tell you what I think. I forgot to also mention that I did curl my eyelashes prior to doing this because I want to see how it holds the curl. So, we're going to get started on this eye here. I feel like I have quite a lot of product on my brush. Obviously because I just opened it, but it's going to be tough on my lashes. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, sorry. They have really fine hair and fine lashes, so they can't handle a lot of product. But we'll work with it. It's seeming to be, I would say, more of a wet formula at this point anyways. I kind of like the brush, though. You can get right down to the root. I can definitely feel it on my eyelid when I get right down there, but it's not, it's not like the Benefit Their Real Mascara where it kind of hurts you. Not yet, anyways. And I'm able to get into these inner lashes, which is nice. We're still on coat one, and I'm not seeing any clumps. It's just separating very nicely and giving me a little bit of volume. So far, it reminds me a lot of the CoverGirl Crump Clump Crusher, although that one's a little bit drier. And I think I like the wand on that a little bit better. But we'll see, we're just getting started. Alright, I'm still on coat one. And this is where I've gotten to. Like I said, there is a lot of product on my wand. So there's a lot deposited on my eye there. Um, it's definitely given me volume. Like each one of my lashes has got substantially bigger. So if you like that, you like this mascara. It's starting to clump a little bit. I'm curious to see with um, a second coat what happens. Because it's already starting to clump up a little bit. I'm not seeing a ton of length though. Maybe a little bit, but definitely how it claims. It's a volumizing mascara. I'm kind of scared to keep playing with it, because the more I play with it, the more it's clumping. But this is only coat one. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, let this dry a little bit, and come back to it and see if it does okay once it's dry. And if it doesn't, then I'll just work with this second eye and do a second coat right after to see if it's better working with it wet for a second coat. This is definitely a very black formula. So if you look for a mascara that's very black, I would definitely call this super black. I also forgot to mention this mascara retails for around $7, depending on where you live, of course, and where you end up getting it and whether or not it's on sale. But it's mostly around the $7 mark. So there seems to be less product on this eye, which is good. It's a little bit easier to work with on this eye because I don't have quite as much on my wand, so I'm still on coat number one. All right, I'm heading back to eye one. It's had time to dry a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can add a second coat to it without it messing up everything. I feel it pulling quite a bit, but I wanna know if it'll loosen up. Kinda like the clump crusher. No. <laughs> It's getting more and more spidery. 
the more I try and play with it. So I'm going to leave this eye because I don't want total spider lashes. Let's go back to the second eye and see if it works better if you apply the second coat directly after the first coat. Yeah, this is still movable. Um, it's adding definitely more product, but I'm, just, I'm able to get my brush through still. So I would say if you bought this, do the second coat directly after the first coat. All right, I think I'm done fiddling with it. Holy spider lashes. I know some people go for this look. Um, I feel like my lashes are thoroughly coated in mascara. They are quite thick, very vol volume voluminous, So I'm trying to say. Not a ton of length, a little bit of length, but um, definitely pretty spidery. So if you like that look, this might be the mascara for you. And honestly, I didn't get much of a second coat on, so it's not like I put on a ton. This is just what happened after like one and a half coats. While I'm here, let's see how it does for my bottom lashes. I don't like a ton, a ton of mascara on my bottom lashes, so I'm trying to be careful. All right. So it did an okay job. I had to be really, really careful not to get too much product down there, but those are my bottom lashes. All right, and backing up the camera, I'm just taking a look again. So far, it's held my curl. My lashes are curled the way that I originally did them, so I'm curious to see how well that holds up over time, but so far, so good. I don't have any flakes or anything underneath my eyes, so it hasn't been flaking, which is nice. I think I might use this in conjunction with the Clump Crusher because it does give a lot of volume, which is nice, but I think that the Clump Crusher wand might help separate things a little bit so that I can work with it a bit more because this definitely dries quickly, and once it's dry, it's really, really hard to work with. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Zooming in one last time, I think overall it's a really pretty look. Um, it's definitely more of a dramatic lash, so if you look for like thick, kind of spidery lashes, this might be the one for you, but I think I'm pretty happy with it. Um, would I repurchase this mascara again? Quite possibly, I think. I'm curious to see how it holds up over time and throughout the day. I'm curious to see if it dries out, if I like it a little bit more, and if there's less product on the wand, how much I like it. I'm also wanting to try it in conjunction with other mascaras and see what I can get out of that. So, but for a drugstore mascara, I think it did a pretty decent job, so I'm actually happy with this one, which is awesome. If you have any questions, let me know, and if not, you'll probably see this mascara in an upcoming favorites or empties video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!